17 News is your local election headquarters, and tonight we continue with our profiles of candidates running for the Central Valley's 22nd Congressional District. 17's Maddie Gannon joining us now with a closer look at David Valadeo. Maddie? Jim, it's been an attention-grabbing term for the Republican incumbent. Now he's running for re-election in one of the most contentious races in the country. And the 22nd Congressional District includes parts of Kern Kings and Tulare counties, stretching from Arvin through East Bakersfield up to Hanford. Latinos make up almost 60% of the population. Democrats outregister Republicans here by over 16%. But Republicans have seen high turnout in this area before. And the candidates in this race are Republican incumbent David Valadeo, Republicans Chris Matisse and Adam Medeiros, and Democrat Rudy Salas. Tonight, we are taking a closer look at 45-year-old David Valadeo. The son of dairy farmers from Portugal, David Valadeo considers himself a true child of the Central Valley. I represent the type of people that I feel like I am. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm one of them, and I, I think that's what Congress is all about. They call it the House of Representatives. I mean, I'm a representative sample of, of this district. The 45-year-old father of three has spent much of his life working for his family farm in Hanford. And now, with what's going on with the drought. So unsurprisingly, on. agriculture, he says, was what brought him to politics in 2010, when he was elected to the state assembly. Two years later, Valadeo was elected to Congress, spending three self-described low-profile terms on Capitol Hill, before losing his seat to Democrat T.J. Cox in 2018. At that point, Valadeo said he returned to his family farm, unsure if he still had a future in the political field, until... I started getting phone calls uh, from random people who got my home number from friends and got my cell phone number from friends and started complaining about some of the issues they were having that they weren't being addressed. That spurred Valadeo to run again in 2020, seeking election to the seat he had lost just two years prior. This time, the Hanford congressman took down Cox as a Republican in a district that voted for Joe Biden by a margin of nearly 11 percent in the same election. But then, just days after being sworn back in, came the January 6 Capitol attack. Soon after, are came Valadeo's decision to buck the majority of his party, voting to impeach former President Donald Trump for his role in the attack. Let's walk down Pennsylvania. A decision that thrust the once inconspicuous congressman into the spotlight. I, I don't look for the national attention, so when that happened, our phones started blowing up. Every national organization and international news organization wanted to interview us. I, I just, I focused all on my local. That's what my district is. Uh, I focused on my district. Now he's seeking re-election as a Republican in a solidly blue area, a position he's been in before and a situation he knows well. I mean, this is obviously the most Democratic seat held by a Republican in the country, and it's also the most Hispanic uh, seat held by a Republican in the country. But this time, he's facing not just pushback from the left, but also from his own party, many of whom are still deeply upset about the one impeachment vote. When you're in a district that you have to have the ability to, to get both sides to vote for you, you go into this knowing that at some point you're going to make everyone mad at you. Trump himself is vocal about his wish to oust every House GOP member who voted to impeach him. Yet the former president has endorsed a challenger to every one of them running for re-election, except Valadeo. I mean, like I said earlier, this is the most Democratic seat, and it's by a long shot. And so this is a seat that I think even he knows that... Um, I'm probably the only one that can win it. Going forward, Valadeo says among his top issues are water in the Central Valley and immigration. You can go to our website, kgt.com, or scan this QR code on your screen to see a full list of everyone running for office here in Kern. And if you want to know which congressional district you live in, you can go to house.gov and click on Find Your Representative. And as we noted, Valadeo won as a Republican in a Democrat majority district in 2020. But after statewide redistricting this fall, the district is now even slightly more blue. In studio, Maddie Gannon, 17 News.